So here's a quick tip. Uh, when you're trying to fish wire through that area, um, from or any area for that matter, is uh, one thing I like to use is you can get a pull string you can find in the electrical section of any of your home improvement stores. It's uh, basically a nylon pull string. And what I'll do is I'll take the pull string and then take either a couple of metal washers or what I like even better, I just don't have at the moment, um, a couple of, of um, like quarter 20 nuts. And I'll go ahead and fish my wire or fish my pull string through those like so. And then I will put a small knot on the end of the rope there. And after doing so, I'll take what's left over of the wire, of the, sorry, the pull string, and fold it back on itself. And then I'll take some electrical tape and I tape them together. This keeps it nice and thin. And also you're gonna see it kind of works almost like a little handle. So I'll go ahead and tape those like so. So that makes the tip of my pull string somewhat rigid. And this will allow me to take a magnet. This particular magnet's a flexible magnet that, that you can get from labor to, labor labor saving devices um, also you could use like a telescoping magnet like you'd find on a tool bench uh, you get something like that at amazon or harbor freight um, but basically what i what i can do now is uh, when i went to drill my hole um, sometimes there's there could be some depth to that hole so that's where the tape comes in handy i can take this with my washers on it and i can feed it up into that hole and get it over any obstacles and then kind of drop it down in there and feed as much of it as I can and then go from the other side with my magnet and then grab those washers and pull that wire right through. Another great tip, if, if that doesn't work out, is uh, I like to take a set of, a piece of 12 gauge electrical wire and uh, that gives me a more rigid thing that I can fish through there. I usually take um, the straight piece of wire and I'll bend the end over and by bending the end over that gives you an area the roundness of that bend kind of helps keep it from getting wedged in someplace where it doesn't need to go or getting caught and it helps you feed it through and to another side um, and always make sure it's solid core because a stranded wire does not help any um, another way to go depending on what you're fishing if you can't if you can't feed this through the hole and get it to come out the other side uh, another tip that you can do is to use two pieces of these and what i'll do is do a bend a slightly don't bend it super tight a hook on it and i'll run that hook in and i'll take another piece that also has a hook and run it in and you can kind of hook the two together and pull it through that direction as well once you get that through then you can go ahead and tape your extension piece on and then run it through Okay, another thing to consider when you are fishing the wire is we have different lengths of extension cables from 6 inch, 12 inch, 36 inch, 72 inch, all the way up to 144 inch. Um, what I like to do is in some cases when I'm coming around a, a turn, a 12 inch might be more than long enough to get what I need to use. I like to use a minimum of a 36 inch because having extra length out that I can tuck in after the fact helps ensure that you're not going to lose your wire as you're as you're plugging it in the the first install that we did with this product I went ahead and I fished all the corners before we installed the product and I had all 12 inch extensions hanging out and by the time the installer had gotten to that corner to put it in the 12 inch extension had fallen out and we had to refish it so that's why I like to make sure I've got plenty of wire hanging out um, so that that doesn't accidentally happen. <laughs>